welcome to discover talent excel geeks in this series we are going to cover how to create a chart like this okay when we have the amount like this and when we are changing the value in the chart this will be dynamically changing in our chart as well right so if you could see but how we can you know get the meaning out of it from this chart so let me explain you very quickly so this is the quantity which is uh, I can see it over here right the quantity amount for the item 1 to 10 right the price what is the price for that and what is actual which I have received and what is the target so target would be the this so you are uh, expecting this chart directly will get it from this chart then folks uh, it's, it's not readily available so we need to work on this to get this chart readily available okay so without further ado uh, let's get started okay so what I will do I'll just insert a new sheet okay I'll do and uh, I'll add a this content from here and I'll just paste it over here okay because to avoid multiple duplicate stuff so that's the reason uh, to avoid manual stuff so that's what I've added this value like this I'll just make some changes over here okay bold some sort of changes I'm just doing it okay now what I will do I'll just do a random price for me so this is the price into okay quantity this is my overall actual cost for the product which is my actual and what was the target so this time what I will do I'll keep a target separate for each product so let me keep a target for this 30 okay so 30 for this and uh, 40 for this so I'll keep it like this target so this is the target defined target so this particular activity you can add in your trackers as well right whenever you are maintaining any scheduling or maybe headcount related activities or maybe any target related activities or maybe sales measuring that time also you can use this chart so it's a very effective chart folks so I would urge you so please sustain with this channel until the end okay so I'll just adjust this now what I will do I'll insert a simple chart I'll just select this entire thing click here a recommended chart I'll click on this okay As soon as I hit a button I'll get this chart like this okay what we can see we can see the quantity we can see price actual and target now what we want we want target on the top so for that we need to click on change chart type and hit the combo button where you could see the change is automatically reflecting over here and then click on line and then actual as well line and then quantity will be this likewise price will be this okay so far with me and we are keeping this as a okay as soon as we hit a button so we will get the value like this and the charts like this so just ensure that you are removing this for now okay later on we will add if in case we need it I'll just remove this as well and then I'll remove the background grid lines as well okay so you can just click over here and just remove this grid lines now what we can do we just need to do a right click but prior I move to the right click I just need to ensure that what we have followed the steps okay so quick summary what we have did we just copied the table from previous sheet from this okay we paste it over here and we just calculate a actual and then target is a predefined which is I think you might have target already given or maybe you can decide as per your convince right what type of target you want to achieve for that particular fiscal month or maybe quarter right so those kind of a target for you guys and so this is what we have plotted the data over here now we are creating a chart as per the visualization which we have stated earlier right so here 
we have removed the unnecessary parts which is our labels titles and the grid lines right so we have removed that now we are come to the conclusion and we got this chart over here now on this line chart we will click on right click form here you could see this option okay click over here and then click on the no fill okay as soon as you click on no fill you could see this line is being gone okay however the buttons are still there the circle one right these are still there so you need to click on markers and then click on solid fill from this to built in and then here you need to click on dash and just increase the size so this is your size I have increased intentionally size 14 because 5 was not really visible I think if in case your screen is pretty much good enough to see it you can keep it as per your choice right from solid field I kept it as a no field so just disregard this particular part and then uh, again the same part we'll do it for this as well we'll select this for actual as well and then built in I'll select this as a this particular circle and just increase the part and from over here I'll clip this as a no fill again for this color I'll keep it as a green because this is my actual and this is my target so I'll keep this as a target red and this is my actual so I'll keep it as a green and for the lines I'll remove that color as a yeah, that what I will do I just click outside click on the right side right hand side for my data level series here you will click on the borders no borders okay I don't want borders so here from let me just check quickly outline and then no fill so I've just clicked here okay outline no outline and then you could see this uh, data visualization available over here uh, this is the target which is I have kept it for 40 and uh, 30 for the respective other columns and this is my actual which I have received now the target is 30 and the amount which we are getting it's very less so what we will do now we will play around with the data okay so let me just keep this as a 6 see it's achieved and then I'll keep this as a 5 somewhere we have and then I'll keep this as a 5 too okay somewhere so our actuals is basically it's somewhere right and uh, how many quantity and then those kind of activities we can just play around with the data uh, what we have and 12 is a very less amount if you could see right so what I will do I'll just keep a 9 okay so my actual is this and then let me just drag this again so these are the actuals and the products quantity based on the available data set which we have correct so this is how you can create your own um, chart folks okay this is an interactive one and dynamic one I would say and if in case you want to increase the depth of this you can just right click of it and just increase the depth okay you could see the feel and the look of this chart and uh, now what I can do I'll just insert a label over here and uh, from the label in itself I'll remove this part I don't want this I don't want this I only want a actuals what I have achieved so far so this is how you can beautifully create a dynamic actual versus target chart in your MS Excel this is a very easy steady job but you need to ensure that when you need to add a lines when you need to add a markers and at what time you need to play around with the data yeah right so thanks for watching have a great day ahead 
and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you